Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the trailer and sort of sneak peek because I'm very late on this. You know, I'm going to be talking about some other information that we've got because this trailer came out after Crisis. And quite simply, I forgot this trailer actually existed, so I never actually broke it down if you were looking for that. So I thought, because The Flash comes back actually tonight, because it's Tuesday night, I thought this is going to be sort of my sneak peek video, just to remind you guys what's happening in tonight's episode, and, you know, get back on schedule, because I've been extremely busy this last week. My last upload was three days ago. That is very poor for me, and I really do apologize to you guys. And I'm going to get back on track with The Flash tonight, then the trailer breakdown and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for those. We are currently 100 subscribers off of being at 100k. We get the tick, we get the plaque. That would be the best thing in the world. It's my dream to get that. And I can't thank you guys enough for all of your support over the years. And yeah, I apologize for not uploading, you know, as so frequently the last few weeks or so. But... I'm going to get back on that, I promise, but please be sure to share the video around and share the channel around so we can reach 100,000 subscribers, because that will be the best. Thank you guys, let's get into today's video. So we're going to break down this trailer, talk about different stuff we know, but first off I want to talk about Red Death, because, I don't know, if you've seen online there's been some talk about Red Death, I specifically got this from Paigey's video and I thought I should address it. So Paigey talked about how, you know, there has actually been rumours online which you could probably see if, you know, you regularly follow like Reddit or Twitter or, you know, you're part of the Arrowverse or you're part of the Flash sort of fandom. You would have heard the rumours recently that apparently Red Death has been confirmed to be the villain, but this is where I reference Paigey's video. No one has actually confirmed this. This is just a rumour online. It could be right. It could be completely false. So be on the lookout for as to real news and you know I think we're just gonna have to wait until the episodes come out to see who the actual big bad for the next half of the season is because I want it to be Red Death but I don't know how likely it is it seems like it's more to do with Black Hole maybe there's a main villain who comes out of that could be Red Death could be the return of Godspeed could be anyone but as of right now you know no confirmation of Red Death so those are just rumours. So let's go ahead and get right into this trailer. So the first shot of the trailer, I'm going to break down most of these shots, right? But not like everything, because I know you guys have watched this trailer before and I'm very late on it. I'm literally like nearly a month late. I'm like three weeks late on this. And I apologise. And so the first shot of the trailer is of Diggle and Barry. They're together. They are obviously in the post-crisis world where Oliver is dead currently right now. And so they are sort of reconciling, I do believe. I can't really crack down exactly where they are or like what Barry's holding because it's not super good quality. But anyway, so Iris is talking about how, you know, Barry survived. He didn't die in the crisis. And basically, I think they're trying to move on from, you know, the massive event that happened that really shook, you know, the core of the world, the core of the multiverse, actually, in general, because now we got Earth Prime and everything like that. So... Lots of stuff to look forward to. Let's move on to the next shot. Inside CC Jitters, we've got a happy looking Barry in his flash suit. So he's obviously saved someone or something like that. And then he's on a date with Iris. There are restaurants looking very nice. Really like the sort of warm, orangey lighting with the red in the background. Barry's there, Barry's smiling. They're having a good time here. And yes, so let's move on to the next shot. There is talk about this secret organization. It's on the moment where this news report comes up with the particle accelerator on so maybe in this new version of reality you know some things in the timeline has changed and you've got like black hole who i'm pretty sure is the organization they're talking about because they teased that earlier in the season you know i think maybe due to crisis the threat is higher than say before so we move over and we see iris in a parking lot and she is hiding behind a car she's obviously spotted someone she's doing her journalistic work right there then we move back we got barry not sure specifically where he is but he's in his flash suit and it's just a very cool shot then we see this villain the villain of the week she looks very funky she's got this sort of like leather white jacket she's got these weird glasses like proper weird i think she might be working for the black hole because I get the gist, when you look at the goggles or the glasses, 
it looks like you know your stereotypical like painting or drawing of a black hole not like how it would actually look but stereotypically you know colorful like a swirling piece of space or whatever you would call it but anyway so yeah she's here she's got this gun it's all purple it's all lit up and she actually attacks joe inside his home it sort of whips over the camera to her and she yeah she looks very funky i'm intrigued but i don't know what she's gonna serve to be i think she's more gonna be a setup or like a villain of the week and you know set up what's to come a bit more maybe to do with black hole so yeah you get this medium shot you see her glasses they've obviously got lens flares on to make it try and look cool and you've got the gun sort of futuristic gun so maybe she's from the future or something like that or she's just got like really high tech stuff then we have her attacking what looks like to be Iris, Cecile and Camilla and so they duck Cecile's like get down to the ground or something like that oh also Allegra's there as you can see in this next shot and so they're being attacked I guess they thwart the attack and it seems like Iris in this episode is actually gonna go after some people like I said she's in the car park you know spying on someone or something like that then later she's in a bar where you have you know her fighting someone basically so very interested in that Cisco is here with Camilla he's wearing a Superman t-shirt that's something to note obviously that means he's a fan he's a fan of Superman and now Superman's on his earth it makes sense then we've got this back at their offices you see you know the purple like weird-eyed goggled girl I don't know what to call her she is blasting through the wall and it just kind of looks cool and apparently things have changed since crisis you know the way that things work in different instances and then we move on to the next shot we've got Barry he's with this guy I don't know who he is but it seems like he is about to get into a fight or something like that we go back to that girl and she is firing at Iris in the car park so it seems like Iris is actually spying on her then we go to some jail cell which is very interesting because Barry's there he's using his lightning or he's like projecting his lightning out of his hand and so that begs the question why is he here why is he at a jail and you know why can he use his powers so he's obviously not at like iron heights or something like that which dampen your powers however you know i'm interested to see your theories as to what's happening in that scene in the comments down below we got barry he's here and he's looking up and i don't really know what's happening there but barry in this scene talks to iris and Weirdly, they've actually flipped the scene. I don't know why. Maybe it was like a muck up in the trailer or something like that. But anyway, so he's talking to Iris. Looks like probably at their home or it could be Joe's home. Then going back to the thing that I mentioned before, we have Iris in the bar where we've been before with Amunet Black and stuff like that. So she actually goes and I think she punched someone. Like you see this final shot of the trailer. It seems like she's most definitely punching someone. So <laughs> she's very pissed off. And it seems like it all links back to Amunet Black, who has returned in this trailer. You can see from this shot, she's right here. She's at that same bar, and yeah, she's going to be back. You guys know I'm not a fan of her. I don't think she's good at all. I think she's one of the weakest characters that The Flash sort of introduced recently. And I think that's mainly down to season four, because season four was so bad that you know you had all these shit characters coming through and but they did rectify some like Ralph I really didn't like and now I like Ralph so yeah that's very interesting as of right now so that's about it for this trailer to be honest and you know there's some stuff that needs to be talked about in terms of you know post crisis and you know the plans for everyone you know what is I guess Iris gonna do now with the citizen that she doesn't have to write that newspaper article about Barry vanishing because that was sort of the thing that was waiting to happen and then you've got like the repercussions of Oliver's death like you've got Diggle in this episode so it seems like he's gonna come to visit Barry probably something to do with Oliver that's what my guess would be right now but yeah so that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it please be sure to subscribe share the video around as we try and reach 100,000 subscribers we're only 100 subs off let's do it guys and yeah so i'll catch you guys later goodbye
icy room.